So real quick, I'm going to show you my $5 charging mod. These AGM batteries want to see at least 14 volts uh, to properly charge. If not, you will not get full capacity out of them. These Toyota 4Runners uh, do not supply anything more than about 14 volts at idle, maybe as low as 13.8 I've seen drop, high as 14.1, 14.2. So I know this works for the 98 to 02 4Runners just because the fuse box layout may be different on previous generation 4Runners. Check your application to make sure it's correct. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to take a GM diode fuse, there's a the part number. These were used in your kind of early 2000s, late 90s Pontiac GM Chevrolet vehicles in their sense wire. Because it has a diode built in, you're going to see a little bit of a voltage drop. The regulator will view that as a low capacity battery and will increase voltage about a half a volt to make up that difference. So we should see a difference in charging. Uh, we're at 12.7 now. I've already checked this and I'm at 13.9 when it's running. Super easy. Pull that fuse out. Uh, because these are polarized, you want to make sure you're putting in the right direction. A diode works as a one-way gate. I know the right side terminal is my hot side, so you always want to install a diode in the direction of normal current flow, which is arrow towards your ground. So go ahead and drop that in. Now this diode does have a small key on the side of it and the fuse box of the GM is keyed. So on the right side there's a little nub you have to kind of cut off. A knife or a pair of snips works great. Drop that in where your Alt S wire hits the fuse and goes back out. It's been fired up and see what happens. much better than we had before at least a half a volt difference and when you're running you'll actually see that go up to maybe 14.7 14.8 as long as you're under 15 you should be good no worries of, of uh, overcharging your battery the AGMs are pretty sensitive to charging issues but you always want to make sure you have enough voltage and current for the charging like I said my five dollar mod again there's your part number see you later